Hello, how is everyone? If you are new here, my name is Roberto. Um, I'm living with Joanna in the Maldives with Jura for more than a year. And today I would like to share with you our experience to live and work in the Maldives. I'm going to explain you everything in a second. First, let's roll in. One, two, three, jump! So first big question, why Maldives? I mean, I don't think I have to explain much about it. Uh, Maldives has more than a thousand beautiful flat islands where the highest natural point is 2.4 meters above the sea level. It's summer all year round with the maximum temperatures of 31 degrees and the minimum of 27. There is a dry season from November to March and a wet season from April to September. But to be honest with you, it doesn't rain much anyway. So how to live in the Maldives? The first thing you have to do is to find a job. And to find a job, usually you have to be an expert or work in tourism or resorts. And once you get a job, you, then you can apply for the visa. Usually the companies, they do everything for you. So you don't have to worry too much about it. Maldives has more than 120 resorts and there are lots of new resorts planning to open for the next few years. So if you like to come, definitely there will be a lots of new opportunities coming up. Maldives has a very different lifestyle, especially if you're coming from the Western world or from any big city. We are in a very small uh, islands in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Here in the Maldives, we don't have any cars or any roads. If you like to travel between island to island, you have to go whether by boat or seaplane, which makes even more remote. The capital of Maldives is Malé, which is one of the most densely populated places on earth. It's very crowded, there are lots of motorbikes, and the size of Malé is less than uh, two New York City Central Parks combined. Don't expect to come to Mali to do shopping and tourism. Uh, the closest, biggest city, it would be uh, Singapore or Dubai, which is around four hours flight from here. Apart from Mali, there are the local islands, where the locals live and the life there is much more relaxed. Uh, most of these locals, they work in the tourism or guest houses or nearby resorts or even fishing and the wives, they live in the local islands looking after the children. So once you come here, be ready to work mostly with the, with the men. They are super nice people, they are very relaxed, very friendly and super easy to work with. As we are living in the small islands, everything here is very slow, very relaxed. If you need to get something done, don't get frustrated. Everything takes its own time. Be prepared to do compromises. Maldives is a Muslim country, so we, we must respect all their culture and traditions. Uh, for instance, um, alcohol and bikinis at the beach are not allowed, except if there are designated areas to do it. Nowadays, most of the local islands, they have a designated bikini beach or tourism beach, where the foreigners can go and enjoy the day at the beach without disturbing the locals. Another thing to take in consideration is the food. Don't come here expecting to have your home delicious food. Um, most of the food in the Maldives is imported, so for sure there, there will be limitations. And then we have the resort lives. Something we cannot forget is that the resorts are made exclusive for the guests. So usually they are really small, tiny islands and then the guest area it's around the island and usually the staff facilities it's in the middle and this staff village that's where you can find all our accommodation depending on your position you can get um, a shared or a private room we have our canteen our restaurant our bar a gym a corner shop a volleyball court a basketball court a football field and my favorite place on the island our beach our staff beach but be very careful because most of the resorts, the guest area is outside of the island and then the staff area is in the middle and we are not allowed to go to the guest area 
we are not allowed to go to the beach. So every day we are seeing this beautiful water and we are not allowed to touch the water because you cannot go to the guest area. I couldn't do it. We are very lucky to be at Ritira where you can have our staff beach and then we can come here anytime. We can go for swimming, for snorkeling and enjoy our proper day off in paradise. It does not mean I spend all my day here at the beach. Um, time here is a bit limited as well. We work six um, days a week. We have one day off and I wish I would come here more often but when you are off you just relax and you live in paradise. This ocean is the best thing that you have in the Maldives. There are beautiful corals, fishes, uh, stingrays, uh, manta rays, turtles, you name it. Even you can swim with the biggest fish in the ocean, the whale shark. It's one of the best things I've done in my life. You can do all the water sports activities, uh, you can snorkel, diving, free diving, and you can surf one of the best waves on the planet. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and the explanation. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you like to see more videos in the Maldives. Thank you.